Hello everyone, welcome to questions and answers based on a course of computational finance. Today we have question number 27. This question is based on materials discussed in lecture number 12. The question of today is, what is the relation between European and forward start options? Uh, forward start options are considered to some extent you consider non-standard derivatives where um, they are also called often so-called performance options. Forward start basically means that uh, the start of, uh, of the contract will be in the future and also the expiry of this contract will be even further in the future. So let us take a look. So if we have a here a time, today we are at time t0, we have two times t1 and time t2. So if we buy an option, European type of option, let's say call or put option, then we have a, a stock, of course, let's say, uh, this is the, the realization of this possible paths of the stock. Then we have a distribution at time t. So if we price this call option with a starting date today, then we are looking at the discounted expected future payoff at time t2. So this is, we assume, the payment will take place at time t2. However, for our start options, on the other hand, they are not starting at time t0, but they will be starting at time t1. So this means that they are starting actually at the uncertain points in the sense of a, a value of a stock because we don't know today what is the value of a stock in the future. We only know certainly what is the value of a stock ST at time T0, but we don't know the value of the stock at time T1. So this is a little bit of a, a more advanced derivative what we have seen in this course because you see that we are interested in this performance over this period of time. Uh, why this type of derivative? Who could be interested in this? This type of options are uh, in particular interested for investors who don't want to uh, care about the level of a stock, but they are interested in the performance of a stock uh, over a certain period of time. So for example, you say, I would like to buy an option where I'm interested in a buying uh, upside potential, if in case of a call option, of performance over a period from time T1 to time T2. By performance, essentially we mean that we are looking at the ratio of S time T2 minus S T1 performance with respect to time T1. And this is the, this is the quantity that we would like to price. So we are looking at the value of a stock at time T2 minus the value of an initial point in the future at time T1 divided by value of time uh, of a stock at time T1. So this is the performance over the period of time T1 to time T2. Those type of options are important, especially in the case of considering when we talk about exotic derivatives, like kind of cliquet, rachet options, where uh, this kind of performances, the analysis, the, the deal where it pays you performance is a very important building block for those more exotic derivatives. So um, this is actually what is actually mentioned here. So those performances, in a sense that we have just seen in the case. So we, for example, what we can do, we can build an exotic derivative. So let's say we have some interval of time with some points T1, T2, T3. Then we will have performances, let's say S, T, I plus one minus S, T, I, so be I divided by S, T, I. Here, what we can do, we can, for example, do maximum here, given some strike here. And also, what so this is basically what we are doing. We are looking at the performances over of each interval here. But also what we can do, so this means that investor will lock in the profits at every point. So if this option, if this performance option performed very well in this interval, uh, it's good, so this profit will be locked in with, uh, of course, with the minimum uh, K. However, if this next performance happens to be negative, so if the stock performs very bad, this means that uh, deals will not bring you any loss because we always choose the maximum of the two. So it's kind of procedure of locking in the profits over whole period, the whole uh, interval of time. So this is one of these kind of building blocks. What you can also do for investor, we can also make it more structured where, for example, we say the, the minimum payment will be this type of performance, and then let's say K2. So if stock didn't perform well at all, uh, still the client will receive certain amount 
uh, of money. So uh, in this case, actually, we, to make it more attractive, we should say maximum, right? So we get either maximum of the performance of our uh, options, the sequence of options, or we receive K2. So this is uh, kind of uh, a bonus for our client. Uh, the reason for this kind of options is that this typically is cheaper if you just consider some kind of a, a outright call or put option. So those kind of structures allow us to reduce the investment cost while having exposure to particular uh, asset. So we can kind of you could say it's a risk averse kind of option because we are locking the profits uh, while we are not having any downside potential. And this typically would be cheaper um, if we compare it to European type of options. So if we look at the, so mathematically, this is how we have just defined. So in the forward start options, we have always two important times. So T1 is a future date uh, of the, when we, when the, let's say the option will settle, and then we have an expiry date uh, at time T2. So this is our derivative. So, and here in this case, it's a European type of payoff where we have maximum and this quantity minus strike. And what you can also do, we can represent uh, you see that what happens here, we can uh, reformulate it so we can have S T2 divided by S T1. Then we have minus 1, minus K. So then we have this uh, uh, 1 because of this ratio of S T1, S T1. We can move it to 1. And also what is interesting here is that this quantity, if we look at the case of a Black-Scholes model, for example, or actually in any equity model, uh, S T2, so let me write it down, S T2 divided by S T1 is equal to S T0 times, and then we have exponent, and then there is integral, and then the same would hold here, S T0 times exponent here. And this integral here will be from time uh, T0 to time T2, and this one will be from time T0 up to time T1. But what we see here is that the initial value will cancel out. So this quantity does not depend on today's value of a stock. And this is exactly what the whole essence of the performance options is, that it does not depend on today's level of stock, but it will depend on the performance of stock in the future. So we can also reformulate. So if we look at, time, at the time T1, so this is uh, if we are in particular time T1, then this payoff simply becomes a European uh, call option. The same would hold, of course, if we move to uh, European put option. So then what we can also say, we can represent this expression, this uh, uh, payoff in this way. And then if we talk about pricing, then we know already that pricing of uh, this particular payoff, it will be always expectation because we are looking at the expected future payoff discount to today. And the payment of this option will take place at time T2. So this is our expire of our option. So this means that we have to discount with a value from time T2. And then this is, we have reformulated strike. So you see, it's just like a, a European option with ST2 minus divided by ST1. And then if we formulate it even further, we can simplify it without any assumptions regarding the dynamics. Then we will have a e to power X T1 T2. And then uh, X T1 T2 is defined as a difference of two lock stocks. So this is basically the relation between forward start options and European uh, and European options. So the most important takeaway is that the value of a forward start option does not depend on initial stock that we see today. And also it allows you to lock in, if you talk about European type of option on the, um, on the, on the performance of a stock, then you can lock in your profits over a certain future interval of time. So then you say, for example, my, I expect that the stock to perform uh, well from, let's say, from a year ahead, to two years from now. And this is the whole idea of forward start options. I hope it explains. See you next time. Bye-bye.